Greetings, punks, goths, metalheads, herberts, herbettas, Martians and subterranean folk. How are you all doing? My name's John and this is the Health Anarchist channel. Well, today I'm in the absolutely beautiful countryside just above Upper Mill, kind of in the Dob Cross area. Now, I've been up this way before, up to the Church Inn pub, but today I'm going to go even further and even deeper into the countryside and places that I haven't been before. I'm going to bring you guys with me so should we have a look yeah well today's walk is going to be mainly exploring new places and just seeing what sort of areas are tucked away in the middle of the upper mill countryside so we're just coming to a little downhill area through some trees or a little woods at the moment so it's quite a hot day today so i do enjoy these little tree lined areas always a bit of a break from the sun just coming to a little lane now. I have got a little map that I printed out from Google Maps, so I know where I'm going to an extent, although I haven't actually walked a lot of it. I'd actually gone the wrong way just then, so I'm back up this hill again now. But uh, not to worry, these things happen when you're out walking, you know. It's just normal to sometimes go the wrong way. So I'm back on the right track again now. It didn't take me long. Uh, luckily, I realised pretty quickly. But it is a total maze up here of little lanes and tracks. So it's good to print yourself a little map if you're coming somewhere like this or get the official Ordnance Survey map of the area. Now, it always interests me when you get something like this on a walk. Now, you've got a few little steps and they're leading up off this lane and they're just going nowhere it's just totally overgrown but i wonder what was here they would have been put here for a reason it's just uh, quite fascinating i'll have a look on old maps and see if i can figure it out so it is a bit of a hilly walk today um i was going uphill for a while before i started filming and um continuing to climb and i get the feeling that today it's going to be mainly uphill which i'm okay with you know, you can take as much time as you want, but uh, anyway, I'll get back to the walk. Little bunny rabbit there. A few rabbits about today. So I've seen a few rabbits out in the fields today. Always nice to see a bit of wildlife when you're out for a walk. And while we're on that subject, it is so peaceful and quiet today up here where I am. This is another one of those perfect walks for getting away from it all for proper chill out time. And my walk, and it's like a meditation to me, I love it. Just coming up to a little junction of sorts. We're going to turn right this way. Free horse muck. Does anyone want any horse dung? It's free. This is it now. Absolutely beautiful. So today's walk, it's not an official walk. It's not a walk that's noted down anywhere. It's just a walk that I found myself. I've plotted it myself, my own little route. Just go on Google Maps and I worked out a route and I'm following it today. So, you know, you don't have to have official walks, you can work stuff out yourself. Saying that, it is nice to do official walk routes, but you can do your own routes as well. So this is absolutely perfect for me today. The weather's sunny. It's not too hot, it's a nice breeze. I'm in a beautiful place, loads of peace and quiet, loads of space and beautiful surroundings. And why I say come to places like this that are quiet, chilled, with loads of space and natural beauty is because if you're in a built up area and you're really stressed or depressed, it's not very uplifting. You know, there's loads of people, people with problems, loads of cars flying around, loads of noisy traffic. 
and you're away from all of that if you come to places like this and you've just got your own space and your own peace of mind. So we're on a little downhill bit now, going up and down a lot today. So we have a footpath leading up here, I'm going to go this way. Looks a bit more rugged this one. So I'll follow this public footpath, it's a very uh, rocky one, but interesting. So all these stones are actually the remains of uh, dry stone walls that have tumbled down. Now the track you've got in the middle is very sunken and that means it's actually a really ancient trackway, but it's seen some history this. It'd be also be good to try and find the landowner and get permission and do some metal detecting. Geez, I've really climbed up a bit already. Beautiful view from up here though, isn't it? Another style to cross here. So we're actually getting pretty high up now, not far from the hilltop. You could actually get on here and walk up to uh, pots and pans if you so wish to. Right, that's unusual. I'm guessing that's uh, a salt lick for the uh, sheep, I reckon. So high above Upper Mill now. Been a fair bit of a climb today. Got this interesting remains of an old farm building here by the looks. I'll just have a closer look at that. So should we have a look inside? Yeah, let's go. So going in, got a couple of few sheep, a mother and a two lambs, it's okay. family there. It's like there was the old fireplace. It really is pretty ruined to be honest. But it's interesting. So this side, roof's totally gone, as in the other one, totally empty inside. You can see uh, there's a few more sheep in there, so I'm going to go out because I don't want to disturb them too much when they're chilling out in there. And the other little family's on the way out there. You can come back in a minute when I've gone. So it is, it is very bare inside. See the holes where the uh, ceiling joists would have been. And you've got these beautiful old stone windows. You get them in a lot of the old properties around there. Looks like there was a fireplace and chimney place on that side. And uh, there's definitely a fireplace and chim chimney place on this side too. See some of the metal work remaining. So uh, that looks a perfect little place for a rest, sat on that uh, big stone there. So it's always important to hydrate with a drink on a hot day like this when you're out walking. Right, I've had a break and I think I'm going to head back in a minute. 
So I think I'm going to wrap up the video now. So thanks for coming with me today, guys. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to give us a like and a subscribe. And until the next video, keep yourself very safe. Take care now. Bye.